This tutorial is about how you can use the new functions of Meta or EXIF data management in Graphic Converter 11 for easy and structured image processing. Open the browser of your Graphic Converters as usual via the menu File or the dialog window and the option Browser or drag your image folder into the shaded area via drag and drop. Now select the images you would like to process. From version 11.5 and later of the Graphic Converter, you will find diverse icons in the menu bar at the top. Using the Photograph symbol, you can open all parameters available for working on EXIF information. The entries are self-explanatory and structured according to the to-dos which are easily understood so that you can find the modifications you would like to carry out quickly and work on them. No prior knowledge is required. The clipboard symbol is the subsequent entry in the menu bar. It offers you all processing options for modifying the IPTC XMP information. This information represents a standardized, internationally agreed data format for storing metadata in images. These comprehensive menu features include, among others, options for working on specific IPTC entries, as well as all options for easy and quick modification of all your images you have selected. This processing functionality at the meta level provides transparency and allows for fast adaptation, erasing or extension of all entries with a single action. The subsequent dashboard icon offers you all remaining processing options which are not part of the menu items discussed. They include adding comments, marking HDR images or editing thumbnails, icons. The calendar icon allows you to edit file attributes such as timestamp, spotlight comments and finder tags which serve in particular for finding specific data via the Mac OS finder. As a matter of principle, the graphic converter comes with multiple options for calling up the function you wish to use. Via the browser, you can now find all mentioned icons and entries of the menu bar in the context menu using a right mouse click on the respective image elements. In case you select only one image, your activity will only take effect on that one selected image. By clicking on several or all images in your browser, you will modify all selected images synchronously, which saves a lot of time. Now let's take a closer look at the entry IPTC XMP metadata in the context menu. Select the sub-item Edit File Info. In the right-hand selection window, you are offered the options One Selected Image at a Time, as well as All Selected Images. Option One Selected Image at a Time restricts modification to one image respectively. If you'd like to open the IPTC XMP entries for several images at the same time, please click on the option All Selected Images. The Edit File Information dialog box will open. In the input box caption description and potentially in subsequent input boxes, all entries for all selected images will be listed provided they already carry entries for IPTC XMP information. If this type of data, independently from the category, is not included in all images or if that information differs, it will be displayed in red. Information given in red, independently from the type of tags, always serves as a warning about an overwrite risk. In cases where entries in multiple, in all currently selected images, are identical, these attributes are displayed in black. Now you can decide in a transparent and comfortable way which attributes are relevant for your images or which ones can be complemented or replaced completely by alternative ones. For an example, click on the menu option Contact on the right. A form opens which allows you to edit all the contact information. Now type your address in the top field and tick off the respective control field at the right. 
This and all other information activated via a tick on the left will be entered synchronously to all selected image files. If activation is not ticked, this data will not be modified or not applied to all images. The IPTC entries for all images selected may therefore contain differing information, whereas all other data is aligned. An additional practical function is offered by the two selection boxes Save and Open at the bottom on the left. They serve for saving individual presets. You may use this function, for example, for matching quickly and easily multiple authors, photographers or contact information.